In the comments of my Alex video, there were two suggestions. One I've already covered, which is Anna Blue. If you haven't seen it, the link is in the description. The other was Leader, who you may know as Leader Bunny, Hey Leader Bear, or Leader Monster Bunny. As I butchered Alex's last name, I'm sure you'll let me know if I butcher leaders. This is a rabbit hole and it might just be the most bizarre of the episodes done so far. Welcome to the online disappearance of a leader Mur. Leader's online presence started prior to YouTube on MySpace as NTO643, which is now known as Leader Monster Bunny, by name at least. There was also Leader Monster Bunny Official, for example, which was linked in the description of Leader Effin Banana. While her name is Leader Mur, Leader Monster Bunny was, according to Wikitubia, due to her drinking monster energy and she was compared to a bunny as a child. And that's the origin of the name, supposedly. Leader Effin Banana was hacked in 2010 and as a result it no longer exists. Although if you want to see it in all its 2010 glory, here it is when she had 6,000 subscribers. Some of the videos have been re-uploaded since by Macy Dino. They're largely makeup tutorials and vlogs. After LFB was hacked and shut down, she ended up creating a second channel entitled Leader Dragon Lady, which according to online posts was hacked, but I can't find any record of it actually existing. The story goes that Leader Dragon Lady was hacked too and that led to the creation of Hey Leader Bear in September 2010. Interestingly, the start of the description reads, Hey, I'm Leader, basically my last channel, Leader F and Banana, was hacked and deleted and this is my new channel. With no mention of LDL. Things in the world of Leader were going alright. She was making hair and makeup tutorials and vlogs, enjoying herself until 2014. Lita had over half a million subscribers and multiple videos with over a million views. Unfortunately, she had to remove some videos after becoming partnered on YouTube, which was a lot more difficult back then. The videos had copyrighted music and she removed a bunch of videos with copyrighted music so that she could make money on her videos. I don't know if it's the same now as it was then. I know it was more difficult back then, but I don't know if you had like a certain amount of videos with content ID claims, if they just rejected you. It seems like that might be the case and that was why she removed so many videos back then. She had left her scene phase in early 2014, but by the end of the year, she had shut down the channel. All that hard work, gone. <laughs> In August of 2014, Lita deleted all her social media accounts entirely due to a mix of personal issues and due to how she was being treated online. According to Wikitubia, they were Hey Lita Bear and her Twitter Lita Bunny and her Instagram Skinnin. Wikitubia also states that prior to this date, she had already abandoned these internet profiles. Lita Monster Bunny page, Hey Lita Bear, Lita Monster Bunny, Lita Bunny, the MySpace, Level 1 Critter, Skin and Games, Leader Monster Bunny, and Separated by a Few. During this time, her friend Kat made a project for Leader. The Wikitubia article states as follows. Leader left YouTube and the internet due to the abuse she received online. Following Leader's final video and the deletion of her sites, her friend Kat launched a project to help cheer her up. The goal was to let Leader know that her fans appreciated all she had done through YouTube and that there were more positives to be gained from the experience than negatives. Kat created this video and several others on the same account, explaining that she wished to create a binder full of positive messages and fan art, which she would then present to Leader. She created a deadline of the 12th of September for these messages to be sent in and included in the project. Many people participated as the project offered closure to her fans since her accounts were deleted. However, Lita was not happy with Kat for doing this and stopped talking to her for a while when this happened. But in 2015, she returned to the internet. In March of 2015, she returned to the internet with a new Twitter and Instagram and even a new YouTube channel, The Leader Bunny, which has since been changed to simply Leader Mer. She returned with the video, Hi, I'm Back Babies. Leader continued to upload until 2017, with her last video being where the profile picture for her channel comes from, which is entitled Anime Expo 2017 Cosplay. 
Over the 41 videos she has publicly on her channel, she gained over 130,000 subscribers. Months prior to the last video uploaded, Lita mentioned that she was working on a book called Mooncaller, even stating in her last video that she had been very busy writing. Hey guys, it's Lita. So, um, sorry it's been kind of a while since I posted a video. Um, I've been doing a crap ton of writing. In 2018, the first book in the series, Mooncaller's Stars Wake, was released in April, and the second book in the series, Mooncaller's Shadows Burn, was released in December of the same year. Although the original tweet mentioned a trilogy, only two have been released. She did mention multiple times prior to leaving the internet that she was working on the third book, with this being the last tweet about it. Those of you who have read my books know I paint chapter headers for each chapter. For the third book of the series, there are 40 headers, and I've done them all myself. I'm really proud of them, so here are four that may or may not show some new characters. Her last tweet date was 10 days afterwards, so let's talk about that. Lita's last posts on social media were both the 23rd of January 2020, with the photo on Instagram stating, I'm blonde for now I guess, and the Twitter post reading, my boyfriend was playing Persona 5 and my cat went straight for Panther's butt, I'm dead. Although her last tweet was technically a reply saying, you're the sweetest. There is absolutely no indication of her leaving the internet or why she would. So let's talk about the theories regarding why it happened. If you google Lida Mer, one of the search results is Lida Mer obituary, along with is Lida Mer still alive and Lida Mer missing. These are the main ones I want to talk about as all the other entries are similar or a lot easier to answer like her age and birthday. I have a feeling that the obituary part is where the is she still alive and is she missing comes into it. But she isn't dead. If you search Lita Mer obituary, you get a result that shows one of her relatives passed away last year. She's mentioned in that, but it's not for her own life. There are almost no results when searching about her missing or if she's still alive, but there are allegedly answers if you look in the right places. Tumblr account called Leader Confessions and Opinions, which is still very active interestingly enough, posted these two posts back to back. I looked up Leader Monster Bunny on Twitter and saw a friend of hers reply to a tweet that was posted in December that she was offline for her mental health and they last spoke in August but Leader is doing well. Well I guess that solves the mystery of why she's been gone and if she has been physically okay this whole time. I really do not blame her considering some people don't have thick skin for all the criticism they receive online and that's perfectly fine. She was always a target for some reason. That same blog interestingly enough has posted about Alex and posted some screenshots that I wish I'd seen earlier and included in my video about Alex. This was the tweet they were referring to by the way. What is Lita Monster Bunny up to now because I miss her? And a reply that says she's offline for her mental health. They responded and said I hope she's doing well, I forgot you were friends, I grew up watching slash following her and just randomly thought about her. To which Sage responded and said I haven't spoken to her since August but last time we talked she said she's been doing well, she likes her space and I respect that. If you question the legitimacy of the account that responded, that's okay. I looked into it and they've interacted on multiple occasions on Twitter in the past and even posted phone conversations with Lita. So I choose to believe based on that that it's real. So basically we're going back to what happened in 2015, just for an extended period of time. The Tumblr blog also tried to find where she was through sites like LinkedIn and what she publicly shared, although it was unconfirmed if the account was actually her, especially given it was based in Germany. So back to that what you will. I hope that she's well and happy and if she decides to return to the internet then hopefully it's a nice return and maybe she'll make the third book after all. Who knows? And maybe even return to YouTube. Thanks for watching.